Hey everybody, I'm starting a super hot ferment here. Um, just keep it simple. Uh, this is Jay's uh, Purple Pink Go Scorpion Peach from Fattis. Um, these are some Primo Tally Chocolate from, uh, I believe, Chili Chomp. These are what were supposed to have been uh, CP115 from Refining Fire Chilies. But they turned out to be like a mustard kind of pod. And uh, these are, uh, these are um, BMRX Yellow from White House Pepper. Um, but they do mature from this intermediate to a red. And then um, I got from Refining Fire Chilies some uh, Chocolate Bootless CS. Now, I do have a ferment with pure this, uh, but I didn't have enough to do pure anything else. I probably could have done one actually right now with just these, but I'm going to do, I think, a half gallon if this will fill one. And then um, I can't remember what this was, but I have it in the in the uh, the whiskey barrel. I thought it was like an off color on one plant, but from the plants are intertwined. It looks like it's all from the same one, so... Uh, I can't remember what this was. I started seeds from like a year ago. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take the stems off and weigh each one and document how much each one is by weight and then grind them in, in the uh, Vitamix, add my salt, add a little bit of um, old brine from one of my previous ferments that I keep in the fridge for a kickstart. Um, I'm probably gonna add some garlic to this too because I have a head of garlic, even though one head won't do. Like You would need like, I'm thinking for the amount of heat here, I would probably need a head added per each so one two three four maybe five heads of garlic because this is going to be a super hot pure um mash and to get past the heat to get a little bit of garlic out of this whole thing i'm thinking i only have one head though i believe let me check all right so when the scale comes up if the bowl's already on it it'll already be zeroed out which it is and of the wall, uh, of the wall thickness, these uh, supposedly CP one one five and the purple, uh, pink, gold scorpion peach have the thickest walls of them all. So the thinnest are the primo tally chocolate. But I'm gonna cut a few of each open and get a smell of just what what what, what the smells are, um, and notate that. 286 grams. I'll do the rest for all of the others. All right, so I made a mistake and I didn't get a whiff of the purple pink ghost, unfortunately, because um, it's it's the most by weight of all, but I got it on everything else, 1,758 grams total. Um, I'm gonna add uh, per chili chump uh, for, for a uh, mash ferment. <clears throat> um, 2.5% salt by, by weight, which is gonna be for this amount, it's uh, 44 grams. Um, so I got the scale zeroed out and and I had to like blend this in stages and that to take out what I blended beforehand and then add the new amount because it was like filling all the way to the top and it, the Vitamix didn't really give it justice to blend. So 45 grams. Or 44, I'm sorry. 45, 46, 47. <laughs> oh, um, let's take some of this out. 44 grams. Perfect. And um, cool. So let's uh, get that blended in with a little bit of brine. Okay, so my dog had some kind of yeasting on his fur. So I've been keeping this in the fridge to give to him from an older ferment. And it took away the yeast for free. Just using a little bit of extra brine. So I'm pouring a little in there to kick this off along with the salt, which will bring out the moisture from the ground up pods and make this blend a lot easier, hopefully. 44 grams. Um, so I'll blend all this. I, I gotta add this somehow to it because it's already up to here. But once the moisture starts coming out, it should condense down and this should condense down as well. And Hopefully it'll all fit. If it fits to the top about here, that's about a, mace, a half gallon mason jar full uh, mash. Okay, so this is the finished product here. Uh, I think Rich Blood on Pepper Lovers had said that these uh, pop tops only are good for short term. And so when I, when, when I uh, 
have seen so far in the ferments that I've done, it, it's it's good for two to three weeks before it <clears throat> starts to implode back into itself. Um, you could keep things going. And so I have a couple successful uh, attempts to uh, get like a half a tablespoon maybe of, um, once it starts to do that, a half a tablespoon of honey and mix it in and then kickstart the ferment back because then the lactobacillus has more sugars or more carbon because sugar is basically carbon, more carbon to consume. And uh, then it keeps, gets the ferment back up again for another two weeks. But uh, other than that, these are good for uh, two to three weeks. But with a mash, by then, um, the, the, the tang flavor addition from the ferment is already pretty well established. But uh, I'm going to probably ferment this for maybe three weeks. And then think of what I'm going to use to thin this out, but at the same time, adding more depth of taste. I don't want to just thin it out. To gain nothing, I want to thin it with something that's going to add more robust uh, flavor to the sauce. Um, any thing, any any kind of input on that, let me know. Um, I've, I've tried wild passion fruit vine. I have a super hot. Let me show you. All right, so these two are pure super hot, <clears throat> and then I, I put passion fruit vine in it, and this this is a pure chocolate bootless sauce, the one I was telling you about earlier. Pure chocolate bootla, a good amount of passion fruit, but there's also a little bit of blackberry in here as well. I would say half and half passion fruit and blackberry because passion fruit is kind of like an overwhelming taste, kind of like a super hot uh, chocolate pod would be as well. But I'm thinking I can thin that out with a little bit of the raspberry. I think I added some uh, cardamom to this as well. Thanks to Chili Chumps uh, YouTube channel because he does a lot with that. Uh, but yeah, this is a passion fruit. So if you have any ideas for what I can use for this instead of passion fruit, which adds a very, very, very strong tropical taste profile to the sauce. But for this, I want to do something different. So let me know. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Other than that, you know, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.